there and welcome to our latest episode of Jump Off It. It is the show where we go off script getting to know the employees of Jump On It Jewelry and Loan. Do they have what it takes to avoid distraction and survive the interview? My name is Dustin and I'll be your host. Today I'm joined by Lauren Passno. She is a member of our Lake Havasu team and uh, the queen of funny, mother of two, and a member of my graduating class. Lauren, welcome to the show. Ooh, happy to be here, guys. Nervous? No. Oh, you're shaking. <laughs> oh, you're real nervous. All right, well, this should be exciting then. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and jump right into it, get into the first question. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, so for this first line of questioning, we have very simple rules. We are going to make it super intense with a staring contest as I ask the question and as you answer. Uh, if you blink, you take an egg. She said Pretty blink. simple rules. Okay? Take an egg? Yeah, you just take an egg. So we're each going to go, if I blink, I take an egg. If you blink, you take an egg. And every time you blink, you take an egg. Three, yes. two, one, go. All right, who are you? Lauren. Where are you from? Oh no. You blinked. There you go. Where are you from? California. You blinked oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> and how long you worked to jump on it? Dang it? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Okay. And there you go. You blinked again. That Dang it. I did two. Blink. Holy moly. This is harder than I expected when I'm distracted with I talking. I don't want my eggs anymore. How long you worked to jump on it? Two and a half years. One and a half years. You blinked again. A year. How did you end up working at the pawn shop? Tired of the medical field. Okay. <laughs> Something new. Okay. Exciting. Yeah. Do you enjoy it so far? Yes, I do actually. Uh, <laughs> you're getting a lot My of affirmations. Are I think linked. I just got one too. Uh, all I'm right. And uh, last but not least, you say you're originally from California. What part? Redlands. And how long have you been in Havasu? Twelve years. 12 years. Oh, I didn't think I needed to chew been here that long. Uh, no, 10 years. Math, 10. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, that was easy enough, right? Just collecting eggs. So you're going to hold on to those for now. And uh, that is the end of question number one. So for uh, this next round here, those eggs, we got them split up here. I've got four. You've got about uh, seven. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Um, so for the rules of this next game, um, as I ask the question, I'm going to be taking one of my eggs and I'm going to be cracking on my head. Every time I take an egg, you must also do the same. And we're gonna get through these before the end of this question is over. Uh, hopefully you selected well and I selected poorly or in my favor, vice versa. Out of all these eggs, four of them are not hard boiled. The question is, uh, you consistently come up with great content for videos and your husband says you are hilarious all the time. Uh, where does that confidence on film stem from? What is the inspiration for your endless comedy? And what is your favorite video you have done uh, for the shop this far? Um. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that already. Um, it's, it's fun to do uh -huh. because no one's watching. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I went a little too you aggressive, did, did on, go that aggressive one. on that. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of the time I'm just I'm scrolling through late at night, can't sleep, and random just thoughts pop in my head. Oh, it's like a rocket didn't even break. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, um, boiled again. My favorite video? Oh, oh. <laughs> still hard boiled. <laughs> yeah, it kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> um, my favorite movie is the Your Boyfriend's a Bee. The, you're looking for your first gun, and the girl says, "Oh, my husband, my boyfriend says I can only handle a 22 or a C380, but I want a nine." Yep. Then it's because your boyfriend's a. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. That one's pretty good. Oh. oh <laughs> Mine had a juicy yolk. <laughs> it's like it wasn't hard going all the way. It's a hair treatment. It's a yeah, hair treatment. There you it's go. Hair, there it's you a hair go. treatment. It'll be looking real good by the end here. Swipe it on the tablecloth. That's what we all do. Yep. There you go. You're good to go. There you go. We had to get at least. I washed one. my hair this morning. Hey, your too. odds are pretty good. Out of there's only I don't know. There's only four eggs left, and three of those are gonna be uh, the real ones. So should we do one more just for the sake of it, just to see if uh, I get one too? Don't. I mean, you picked from you cheated. No, he he sorted them. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> <didn't even> 
<laughs> and one of those two. Wow, we got pretty lucky there. You're the only one that lucked out with the uh, non hard boiled egg. Congratulations, you're the winner. Thank you. You feel like a winner right now? I'm a winner. Yes. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, so easy enough. And uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next one. All right, moving on to this next one. This one is actually a little bit more fun, and we get to enjoy a delicious, delicious beverage at the end of it. But I hear you brought something for us that we might want to uh, jump into real quick here. What do we got here? Cherry bombs. Cherry bombs. Let's <laughs> take one of these. Oh, oh, here, how about you dig in there okay, without okay. your egg hands? I got the eggs. Southern Comfort. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. You get all boozed up on this one. Oh no, I didn't eat lunch. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that potent. Was... All right, let's take our beers, crack them, pour them in your cup. This is the I work out challenge. <laughs> I don't work out. So this is going to be a little bit of Ooh. a uh, test of strength while we get through this question here. Both? Both of them. Yeah, there you go. All right, so what we are going to do is we are both going to take our cups and we are going to hold them straight out. And we are going to do this for the duration of this question. And whoever sets their beer down first or bends their elbows has to chug them. Oh. All right, so do this awkward little straight arm cheers. Yeah, there you go. All right, here's the question. Uh, from what I understand, you are a bit of a firearm enthusiast and like to shoot. What do you enjoy about the sport? What is your favorite firearm and why? Um. I like destroying things. Okay. <laughs> um, I like the knowledge, just being able to pick up most, mostly anything and be able to just destroy what's in front of me. Okay. Um, my favorite is tough. It changes. The favorite in the gun safe period is my SIG 226. Okay. She's gorgeous, but... What caliber? Uh, it's a nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, my favorite right now, other than that? would probably be my newest because I, I just picked up the GSG MP40. Okay. A little uh, World War II replica and it's a lot of fun. Is that a rifle or a pistol? Uh, it's a pistol. Pistol, mm -hmm. okay. And sorry, we don't get those nice guns in California, mm -hmm. so I'm uh, I'll a little bit I'll let you play with impartial. it if you like. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do you like better, going out in the desert and shooting or indoor range? The desert. Desert, mm -hmm. long distance or uh, pistol shooting? Um, I don't mind taking out the, the rifles for the long distance. Okay. Um, we have a Moisin Nagant that's pretty fun. We'll take some pumpkins out and get them out pretty far and, and mess them What's up. What's the furthest you've hit something from consistently? Obviously, everyone gets lucky every once in a while. 100 yards. Let's get, let's just start at the just 100 yards. Yeah. Um, Any special guns you've gotten to shoot like one time burns. ever? Uh huh. This is feeling real good right now. <laughs> the concentration is hard. <laughs> um. I had really fun the last time I went to the range. Uh, one of my other new guns, I picked up a Burst, a 9, okay. and uh, got four mags through my SIG. I picked up the Burst, the first shot was right through the eyes, and I did a dance in the range, and uh, he did. Nice. I killed him. <laughs> nice. And then obviously we sell a ton of guns in the shop. Yeah. What would you say is the most sought after firearm that we sell? Um. So people love their ARs. Cult in California than here. Yeah. I'd say the AR is usually the go-to. Do most people go in Arizona go with the standard platform or because you can have shorter barrels and more uh, accessories, do they go with a uh, modified or is standard platform still the way to go? They usually mess it up once they get home. <laughs> <laughs> this is some crap. I'm just going to keep asking questions until one of us <laughs> puts these down. <laughs> Cheers. Bottoms up. Okay. You survived, but I'm going to have a nice little drink because that was a lot of work. I think I got biceps now. I think the IBA was a good choice. However, chugging this is not going to be fun. <laughs> All right. You want to go? Three. Don't beat me. Don't make me look bad on camera. Okay. Three, two, one. <clears throat> All right. I can chew up. Keep some of my manhood. I'm so full. Oh God, that's terrible. Oh my God. Yeah, those are not meant for uh, chugging. That's meant for sipping for sure. Cheers. Here we go. All right, next question. Uh, first, this one's super simple. We just have to eat a cookie. Oreos are my favorite. Hope you love them. The only thing is, is before you eat it, it has to start right here. Let's get our cookie up there. Okay. <laughs> and you have to get it into your mouth without using your hands. Make sense? Yeah. Yep. All right. So this is called cookie face. 
All right, what does the word rumspinger mean to you? <laughs> rumspinger! <laughs> oh, um, no, new cookie. 21st birthday with my is Aunt Zora, my Aunt Zora. Oh, God damn it. You were better than I got jiggity jacked up. <laughs> um, don't remember much except the Facebook pictures. Okay. Um, I think I had every cocktail available at the bar at the time. Okay. Go out. I need some air. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That bell right there, that signifies the beginning of our lightning round, which means you and I are going to compete answering some industry-specific questions. Don't worry, we'll pick up the cookies oh. in a minute. And uh, whoever uh, is holding the pie at the end of the conversation is going to pay with their face. Got it? Okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> Go. What is the appropriate stamp on silver? 95. What watch brand has a Cyclops? Yeah. yeah, okay. What is the decimal equivalent of 14K gold? 585. How many grams are in an ounce? Uh, 32. No. 31.7. No. 31.2. 30, 32.7? 30.7. We'll round down. That's fine. What diamond shape is most brilliant by industry standards? Round. Name three pro popular diamond shapes. Uh, round, princess, and oval. What powers a quartz watch? Gems. False. Battery. Uh, ooh, uh, a battery. Sorry. You can cuss. Yeah, it's okay. You also lost. But you lost. This is my favorite part. <laughs> you want to do I don't, the face is so much better than the top of the head, though. <laughs> Have you ever had a pie in the face? No. No. This is a first. All right, perfect. I'm ready. Ready for it? <laughs> ready to kick, producer Dave? Yeah, ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get old. It's like a classic, classic move that does not get old. But you're the first person I felt bad doing it to. Like a <laughs> liar. You <laughs> because... <laughs> well, welcome to the club. You have now been pied. Me along with uh, four other of our staff now. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun experience, isn't it? I can't wait to shake a shower. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you're going to be sticky for the rest of the day. It hurts. <laughs> it burns. Good to go. <laughs> All right, so we are here in beautiful Lake Havasu and it is heating up outside probably at about 102 right now. And uh, I decided if since it's so hot outside, we might as well heat up the inside too. So as we get through this, we are each gonna partake in eating one of these uh, here jelly beans. And jelly beans are usually mild and fun and delicious. But in this case, we have sriracha flavor, jalapeno, cayenne, habanero, and California reaper. I have not eaten these uh, before, so I do not know how hot they are. So we're gonna experience this together for the first time. Sound good? Huh? How do you do with spicy food? Not bad. Not bad? I guess. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go ahead and start with sriracha before we ask the question. That's kind of hot. For being the first one and only mild, that kind of terrifies me for what's going to happen next. I'm not going to lie. Can we like two chews on? Holy moly. Okay, this is going to be worse than I expected actually. That doesn't taste like sriracha, that's a lie. Yeah, it's kind of bad. That's a lie. All right, so, question is, you are one of only a few members of our team that uh, is a mother. From what I understand, you're not only a mother of two wonderful children, but also have a bunch of fur babies. Can you tell us about all your animals and what a day in the life of the House of Lorne is like? There's a lot of screaming. Okay. Salivating heavily right now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's taste this uh, jalapeno one as we go through. Why I don't screaming? Like you. Um, oh, these are not good. I'm really loud. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not okay. <laughs> I thought I was good with spicy. Uh huh. <laughs> that sriracha's <sighs> killing me. I'm getting one chew and I'm swallowing it. Yeah. Ugh! This one just tastes bad. It tastes like grass. Oh, oh. It's like spicy grass. I don't know if beer's the right thing to be washing this down. I don't think so. I think. Ooh. It almost makes it worse. 
Please, some water. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a lot worse than expected. Should we skip the middle two and just go straight to the end so we don't have to get all five of these? I don't want the Caroline. I feel really. like that's the way to go because yeah. I don't know if we're going to get through all five of these. <sighs> Ready? Bottoms up. Cheers. No, 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 no. We can do it. No. We got whipped cream. Cool the mouth down a little bit. Cheers. It's for the gram. It's for the gram. It's for the gram. Yeah, there you go. All right. Three chews. Ow. Okay, four. Oh, God. That's all I did. It's really hot. It might be worse than the hot sauce. Well, maybe not worse than the hot sauce, but it sucks. My tongue doesn't taste anything. You're not stuck in my teeth. Anyways, lots of yelling, screaming. What kind, yeah. of, what kind of animals do you have? That was hot. Three pit bulls. Three pit bulls, okay. Uh, Rescues? Kind of-ish. Um, people that had dogs that shouldn't have had dogs, two of them, I had to take off their hands. Um, the middle one is actually, uh, is actually the only one that I got, that I wasn't coerced into. <laughs> I hear there are other pets in the uh, Lauren household. A snake. What kind of snake you have? He's a lavender, lavender corn snake. Okay. Um, he wants to eat my cat. Mm -hmm. Really, really bad. Okay. And the cat really wants to eat him. Cat as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. For this next one, we have reinvented our game of cute and cuddly to include a blindfold. So I'd like you to fold that up, wrap it around your eyes. You should not be able to see for this challenge. Can you see through that? I can't, Honestly. I can't see through that. Okay. All right, good. So I got the blindfold ready to go. So we are going to break out your little cute and cuddly here <laughs> before we ask the question. So your job is to pet and feel the object that is in front of you once I ask the question. I live in the desert! And uh, decide what kind of native species is uh, currently sitting in front of you. Sound good? All right, so question is, before you reach your hands out and feel what you have in front of you, uh, I hear that your minivan has a nickname. Can you tell us a little bit about that, what its nickname is, and why it is what it is? Can I help touch? Can yeah, I go help ahead help and start uh, petting your... Can you uh, just, like, move Just, my... yeah, you got it, you got it. I don't it. know where it's yeah, supposed just, to go. Oh, you just go down to the table, you'll find it eventually. Ooh, you can can do you it. know me? It's like pushing people off of there a bungee right. jump. There's the and contact, contact. There you go. See, not so bad. Why am I so scared? Yeah, what is okay, it? It's a snake skin. Yeah, see, she nailed it. The pet snake, you got it nailed down. All right, so go and take the blindfold off. You got it way fi way faster than John. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a tarantula. Yeah, not so bad, right? <sighs> tarantula was my next one I was gonna get, but uh, unfortunately that didn't come through. So snake skin it is. <laughs> Okay. All right, so minivan has a nickname. What is it and why? Um, my minivan is the Shell Razor. Okay. Um, I murdered a tortoise in Palm Springs. What do you mean by murdered a tortoise? Someone, someone's pet escaped their yard and decided to go play Frogger on, uh, what is that, the 10 through Palm Springs? Yep. Um, he made it across what he made it across four lanes. Okay. And he hopped in the fast lane, and we, you know how we drive in how California. How big a tortoise is this? <sighs> His feet were this big. His Holy feet moly! Were like that big. He was like that tall. Oh, it was like a cicada. Mm -hmm. It was. The big it ones. was someone. It was a dinosaur, dude. And he saw us coming. He saw the minivan coming. And, and you he, didn't swerve. We couldn't. We were boxed in all four sides, and um. My mom was driving. I got the mom seatbelt. You know, yeah, yeah. We're gonna hit it. And one of its little, the little rectangles, the yeah. shells. It was that big. It was that big. Uh, stuck in the front. How of much the van. damage does that leave in the van? He cracked the radiator. Okay. He, we had to drag the poor thing a little bit before Ooh. it popped and finally flew out the back. Oh. I close my eyes. I can see the meat swinging from the shell. Holy like, moly. It was bad. Yeah. Was so why bad. shell razor? Um. Go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> Got TMNT, it. Ninja Turtles, why not? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so the minivan is now the shell razor. The shell razor. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, that's a pretty funny story. Thank you for sharing, and thank you for being here today. No problem. Did you have fun? 
I had fun. Was it as bad as you expected? Not as bad. I was scared of this. I thought I was gonna get cockroaches like Edder. All right, so uh, thank you for joining us and thank you for joining us on this episode of Jump Off It. We will see you next time. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe. We will be interviewing uh, next uh, the uh, man, the myth, the follically challenged Danny Smith out of Bullhead. Uh, I am Dustin. I am your host. And until next time, your friendly neighborhood pawnbroker signing off.